After Effects. So I wanted to talk quickly about the light sweep effect. So typically the light sweep effect is used pretty traditionally in the way that I kind of have it set up in this particular uh, comp right here. It's usually applied to a logo and then we sweep that light uh, that little kind of light hit across the logo to give kind of a little bit of an emphasis. So that's kind of typically the way that it's used and in kind of its default settings, this is kind of usually what you will see is depending on the um, depending on what you've applied it to, you're gonna typically see it kind of really thin like that. You can increase the width right there. You can change the shape from sharp, which is, as you can see right there, when we go back to this and we bring up the intensity, there's a really kind of sharp hit right in the center of that line. Um, but you can also switch this to smooth and it gives you kind of a, a, a more typical kind of smooth gradient right there. And then we can take down the we can increase the edge intensity and you'll see it right up here uh, in the edge there but i typically kind of bring the edge intensity down and then i will bring the width up a little bit i typically kind of bring this down so i mean that's kind of your standard stock light sweep right there but i want to show you some different ways in which you might be able to use uh, the light sweep effect so um let's see we have some text right here and uh, we have the light sweep effect applied to it. I'm actually going to reset this and I'm going to kind of do what I kind of typically do. I'm going to go to the smooth uh, setting there. I'm going to increase the width. I'm going to increase the sweep intensity. Um, something that I typically find that I can do is I can actually create or use the light sweep effect to create a gradient. So I'll have it right here in uh, in kind of the center uh, of the um, horizontal, or I'm sorry, the, um, the Y position. So I will set this to kind of a 90 degree angle. So so you can see right there that it is already kind of giving me a little bit of a gradient. And um, I'm going to take the edge intensity down all the way. And then I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually, you can actually probably use this color as well too. But already right there, we've got a... Uh, kind of a red and uh, kind of an orange uh, gradient on that text and you can actually do this with uh, other things as well too like uh, let's see in this particular example yeah see so in this background I have a fill uh, effect on there and then I have light sweep on top of that giving me this uh, gradient and then actually because I'll have a stroke sometimes this is actually another typical way that I use it sometimes is to put this little glint effect um, on or around the edge of, uh, of a particular element. So here I have this black stroke. And so I turned the fill uh, uh, effect on there and I kind of made it a dark gray, uh, which you can kind of see right here. And then on top of that, I added the light sweep to, um, and I have this light sweep actually, uh, let's see here. I have this light sweep right in the middle of the composition. So as it rotates, uh, as it rotates around here, um, it uh, it rotates around the center of the actual box itself. Now, in this particular instance, I have keyframes uh, attached to it. But one thing that you could also do is you could also actually apply a an expression, a time expression, and so you can have this kind of. If you have a long composition, you can have this kind of running uh, in pretty infinitely, or at least the length of your composition, uh, if you need that to happen. In this particular instance, I just uh, just put some keyframes down there and then on top of that um, I use um, sapphire glow a lot that's probably that is my go-to glow that I use because it just gives me the best uh, overall results but you can use uh, the stock the Adobe stock glow that gives you nice results as well um, and but sometimes what I have found that I will do is sometimes I will actually add a glint uh, to this as well. Now you can use the sapphire glint effect, but sometimes I'll actually use the star glow, uh, the trap code star glow effect to kind of give me that nice uh, little look that I want, um, to give me that nice little glint that I want that goes around this. And then 
So now I have that, I have the stroke on top of that, and then now let's put it on a piece of text. So I've got a little light gray piece of text right here, but then I want to add, oop, actually. So there we have this. So now uh, when I have this, uh, I have that little uh, light sweep going across the text as well too. So here's how I want to show you when I, how I did this. So sometimes what I will do is I will take the, let's solo this right here. So something that's probably that a lot of people overlook or probably don't know that is there is there is this, um, because this is typically kind of what your, um, that's the default setting, the light reception, uh, the add mode. So it's adding it on top of the layer that it's applied to. Um, you could also composite it on there and it basically just plops it on top. Um, but the cutout effect actually cuts it out. Um, and so on top of that, I'll apply the star glow and then I'll put that, I'll usually, I'll usually duplicate the layer and then I'll put this on top and then I'll add it back in. Um, so that actually gives me kind of really nice cause now, uh, this is blending on top of everything that's below it. Hey, thanks for watching this. If you got value out of this quick tip, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions about something that you'd like me to cover, definitely leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.